Hello guys, this is going to be a UDK tutorial on how to set a third person view for your character. Uh, the first thing you'll need is just standard level. Just go to file, new level and just any of these will do. Just reload it. And then you're going to need to click on the player start and you're going to just want to rotate that so it's pointing straight ahead. Just it keeps everything nice and simple. We'll just go and we'll into our four views and we'll go into our top down view we'll come across and we'll press space to get into the rotational and we'll just rotate it slightly so it's pointing straight ahead you can see the little arrow there just there that shows you which direction the player will be facing when they spawn it's best just to have this facing forward so we don't have to offset anything later so with that done we come back into the normal view and we drop in a camera and to do that we open the content browser here and we come to actor classes click there and here under common you'll see camera actor just click on camera actor and drag it in here it's good there just close this now we don't need it and we'll just go back by pressing space uh, by pressing space we can go through the various options I'm just gonna go to the move option I'm just gonna drag it just behind the player start just to there is good okay so the next thing we need to do with the camera selected is to go into kismet and just drag it to the side here and um, in Kismet we're just going to right click and we're going to create a new object variable using camera actor 1 I'm just going to pull this over to here and then the next thing we need to do is to select the player start that should be in every standard level and we're just going to come back into Kismet with it selected and right click and new object variable using player start 0 now I'll show you why we need this in just a moment um, so the next thing we need is to add in a player spawn block and I'll show you that now it's right click go to new event scroll down to player and player spawned the reason we need this is we want the camera to attach immediately so we want it to attach essentially when the player spawns so the player spawned is perfect so then the spawn point we want to be the the player start which we just added and the camera actor we're going to get to that just now now to attach the camera to the player we're going to need an attach to actor block and to get that we right click go to new action actor and attach to actor now we connect that to the out of the player spawned and then the target for the player for the actor for the attached to actor rather is going to be the player but we have nothing representing the player yet so we need to add in a variable uh, that represents the player and to get that we right click we go to new variable we go down to player and oh missed it there variable player and player now you see here it says all players at this point we're just going to want to go down to the properties of this variable and uncheck all players so it's only the actual player himself and then we're just going to attach that to the target oh and another thing we need to do also is go into the player spawned and we need to set the max trigger count to zero that's just a side note um, the player is now the target for the attached to actor but it is attaching nothing to the actor yet to the target rather yet so we want to attach the camera as the attachment so we attach the attachment to the camera so the camera is now attached to the player but we need to set the camera uh, set the camera's target rather so that we'll actually follow them in the correct way and to do that we need to add in a ca set camera target and to do that we right click we go to new action, we scroll down to camera, and we scroll down to here to set camera target. See here. And now we attach this uh, into this out here. And by doing this, we set the target of the set camera target to the player. So now it's targeting the player. And we set the camera target to the camera. And now everything's pretty much ready to go. I'll show you now. I'll just close this down. And we'll uh, set a game mode now so that we actually have a weapon in our hands and it looks all right world properties come down here this might be closed but just open it up default game type set that to UT game set the other one here to UT deathmatch and then close that and um, one thing actually that I almost forgot was to go back into Kismet we need to actually uh, click on the attach to actor and come down here in the properties where it says bone name we need to set the actual target that we want to attach it to the actual part of the body we want to attach it to I want to attach to the right shoulder so I'm going to type in the bone name for the right shoulder and that's B underscore capital I capital K underscore hand underscore or so now the camera should attach to the right shoulder 
the right hand rather. So now that's all good. Uh, just check everything's okay. Uh, also check use relative offset. And I'll show you why we and there's values here, and I'll show you what happens when you edit these in a moment. So there we go. We can just play. <laughs> See now we're inside of the hand of the player. Now to get it to actually be a third person view, we need to use that relative offset values and just offset them slightly. Now I'd advise you to play around with these a little bit because they can never really be perfect, but you can find some good combinations. I just know that these are the specific ones for me that are going to work nicely. So I'm just going to go minus 60 for the X, 15 and 15 for the Z. Just going to close this and play. <laughs> The x-axis will control if the camera moves forward and back and the y-axis will control if it moves side to side and the z-axis will control the height and the depth, as in up and down, of the camera. The actual position of the camera now at this stage doesn't matter because we're using the relative offsets. Now we can also use something called uh, the relative rotations. Um, I'll show you how they work now. It's not really needed, but I'll just show you how they work. Uh, for the roll, I'll just set it something ridiculous like 30 so I can show you. <laughs> rolls the camera to the side slightly. Now this is a more of an angular turn. Uh, if I go back into Kismet and I change that again, scroll down in the properties, change that to zero, and we'll change the pitch to 30 this time. The pitch uh, controls lateral movement. So we'll <laughs> up and down. <laughs> now the minus values obviously offset it downwards set this to zero and then we can set the yaw to 30 so I can show you what that does also and the yaw actually sets it to, off, uh, to the side and you can just mess around with all of those to see how you can get those to work in your favor uh, that's pretty much it guys uh, thanks for watching and check out more videos on the online design teacher channel